when I first saw her work, I thought, wow, she must be some young, young upstart, new young American artist. Wow, she's quite out there. Brilliant. Because the work looked so different. It wasn't conceptual. It wasn't, it wasn't manneristic. It wasn't this. It wasn't that. And then I saw one of her giant sculptures and thought, Christ. And it had been made quite recently. And I had this vision, this little woman going, whoa, you know. And she liked my writing, and Jerry, her assistant, would read her things of mine or whatever. And then she came up with the idea, of, it was her idea to do the collaboration. I could do anything I like, screw them up. I could sew all over them, I could write all over them, draw all over them, paint all over them. I could mash them all up, make them into paper and mash. I could do whatever I wanted. It was just completely free. Did you have a feeling at the start, they're so beautiful, I don't want to Look, That was the main thing, I thought they were right as they are, I, what, they don't need me. They're just really beautiful and they're just really lovely and I liked them as they were. Except she was lo obviously a lot more academic and a lot more intellectual than me. And the period of her period of history from when she first came, you know, is phenomenal, the surrealist and, you know, she knew all these people, she knew Picasso, she knew all these people. And so for me, to work with someone that was that part of history coming forward, People think this kind of work, this kind of work, is taken for granted. Oh, it's everywhere now. No, it isn't. There's very few people that work with, the, with the, the, the journey of the mind or their own personal journey. And so, you know, some people are very derogatory about it and think that we're just myopic people, constantly thinking about ourselves. But we're not. We're constantly trying to resolve problems and actually not think about ourselves by working through stuff.